I'll start by just introducing myself and then you can re really quickly and then you can introduce yourself. Um, so I'm the I'm studying on the master's degree in photography at the University of West England, which is what this is for. And I'm also work in the industry as a picture editor mainly so for various magazines um and i write and take pictures as well so i kind of operate in a few different ways i guess but my kind of main interests are in the kind of uh the relationship between like photography and personal work and um also like memory and photography so there's some things i'm quite interested in your kind of fairy tales and dreams because obviously they're tied to memories i'm sure um but we can talk about that in a bit. Um, but yeah, when you introduce yourself quickly. Okay. Um, hello, uh, my name is Miran Joyan. Uh, I'm 26 years old and I'm a photographer. Uh, like this is just, I don't know if, that, if, I, if you want to hear more. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, we, can get, um, we can maybe hear more in the questions and stuff as well, so. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Um, yeah, it sounded. I hope it didn't sound like stiff, like hello, and like job no, interview. Oh. It's not it's like I feel like it's easy for me because I do quite a few different things. But because like when you're a photographer, it's like that's the answer as well. Like mm -hmm. you, you're quite lucky in that fact that you just that you can call yourself one thing. But you don't really just do. I mean, this is actually a separate question, but I was interested, you actually do quite a few different things. It seems like like you direct film music videos and stuff now as well, right? Uh, yeah, um, so I'm not, I'm not really, I never really saw myself as a photographer. Mm -hmm. um, so actually I prefer to call myself an artist um, because um, I don't know, it just feels more, I don't know, it's, it, there it doesn't feel so because I also work in different things. I do documentary movies with a production company. I do music videos. I um, I direct them. I write them. Um, so I don't know. I think it's photographer and director is just the thing to mm -hmm. explain it to, to others the best. Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. That's so interesting how those different parts must feed into your practice though. Like that having, I mean, it's quite a modern way of working. I think that like, yeah. Um, and are you studying as well? I think I saw that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I study uh, design, communication design um, in Potsdam, a uh, uh, city close to Berlin. Um, yeah. So I, yeah, that's a great thing about, um, that, that nowadays you don't have to really choose one thing. When I was younger, I didn't know actually um, that this can, like, you know, I come from a small town, so everyone's like, okay, you have to decide what you, if you want to work at this or that, and if you want to be a photographer, how do you, how do you want to make money? So I was like, okay, if I, I'm going to study design, something else, something, you know, I can work at the company, whatever. Now, for example, I know for sure I'm never going to work as a designer, probably, as, like in a company for, I don't know, someone else. But um, still, I learned so much. Meanwhile, like while I study, which I can use for my personal work, or I don't know, for my work in general. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so... So everything kind of happened spontaneous also that I actually work as a photographer right now. Like it was not planned that way. That's so nice. I think that's such a nice way to think about the creative industries actually that like all of these different parts of it are kind of completely different but they're really useful to each other. And um, that your design skills probably make you know things about image making and kind of production that other people don't necessarily know and that kind of sets you apart um but equally like maybe you maybe that kind of that stuff is just kind of like sideways inspiration um maybe that like you, you were mentioning there your personal work so maybe we could talk a little bit about how that personal works I was interested to see you I like on your website you just have personal and commissions it's very straightforward um and <laughs> like photographers have loads of different categories of different things and 
there's they're quite similar I guess in their visual aesthetic your personal and commissioned work and I was wondering if that was like you purposefully try and get commissions that you just really want to shoot or do you think it's the other way around um yeah when I was doing my website I was really uh, I was also like okay how should I make uh, how should I call these sections? I don't know. I was like, okay, fashion, beauty. I was like, eh, okay, I don't know. It, everything felt, felt a bit like um, wrong. So I just decided to have this personal and commission thing. And um, I don't know, like when I shoot something, when I have work, um, commission work, then I, I don't think necessarily different than when I do something personal. Um, this is based basically also people hire me because of this. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, when I, when, I, um, when I was studying I, uh, and I moved to Berlin, I met like, I was surrounded by a lot of creative people and especially over social media, uh, via social media, I, I got introduced to so many people. I don't know, I got contacted by a lot of them and we, you know, I don't know, when I was uh, at my first semesters, I had so much time. So we just met, traveled around. I don't know, we, we created cool images. A lot of um, the models I worked with, they're artists by themselves. And yeah, then I, at some point I got um, contacted by an agency and got uh, hired by different people. I don't know, it just like um, happened automatically. So I actually, for me, it was, uh, I thought, okay, I'm gonna think about all this making money, growing up things. Once I'm done with my, um, once I graduated from college, um, but I was happy that when it came, you know, I, I was like uh, not focusing too much on it. I mean, uh, so I didn't really have the pressure and um yeah by the way i'm still a student <laughs> like i'm working right now uh, on my thesis yeah. yeah and yeah so i thought okay per- perfect corona uh, i can't do that much so um i'm working on this finishing it and then i'm free <laughs> how exciting when do you finish um hopefully uh in three months um june i think yeah mm-hmm nice yeah. how exciting um are you are you looking forward to finishing or are you going to be sad to leave university uh both but actually i like i finished all my classes um a year ago actually so i could have i could have just write my thesis and i would be done uh, like a year ago so so right now it feel more like um a heavy weight uh, my shoulders um yeah but um and all and all my friends they're also like slowly graduating so i f- i feel it's the perfect time to just start a new chapter and uh, ready to move on focus more on um other things mm-hmm. well I, I mean hearing you talk about your friends and when you're talking about working with models who are also artists and stuff who i assume are probably your friends too has that kind of collaboration always been kind of integral to your work? Uh, yeah, N- now that you say that, um, yes, uh, I-, I really never thought about it that much, to be honest, but uh, yeah, like my work, um, I don't know, um, when, I- when I started photography, um, I was very, very young, I think, <laughs> 13 or something uh it was before facebook myspace um there was other websites uh social media more local ones and i was doing doing i was i don't know today you would call it e-boy i don't know uh but i was something like this so uh, and this is when i you know i try to do really nice images and slowly I lost interest in photographing myself, so I was uh, I was photographing my sister, then my little brother, and but um, I didn't really have um, really 
um, a social circle, uh, like a lot of friends in my hometown. Um, and I was watching a lot uh, of movies, video games, you know, all uh, adventurous things when, when a group of friends doing crazy stuff together, uh, I don't know, have to defeat the enemy, whatever. And um, so I think uh, once I had it, when I was in Berlin, it really shaped my work. Um, for example, one of my muses, um, with whom I was working a lot, she was living with me three year, for three years, and um, we did a lot. We um, we did music videos together. We did campaigns together. We, uh, but we also did a lot of personal work together. And um, yeah, and I still often work with friends when I have jobs, for example, and. Uh, as I mentioned before, most of them, they're also artists, photographers, musicians, and they have um, such a strong character and that also shapes the work that I do with them. So like the people I work with, they're not just just the model. Um, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're muses, I would say. Yeah, and really friends like, um, a lot of the of my personal work is also very intimate, and um, I don't know. I don't think that um, that I could do a lot of those images, for example, with uh, strangers or people I met the first time. You know, um, they need to trust me. They need to know me, and I need to know them as well. Um, so yeah. Mm. I'm really interested into how that kind of because it seems like these are really intimate moments but they also seem quite staged as well sometimes like there's kind of high production values in your pictures let's say or like there seems to be some element of lighting maybe or maybe it's done in post I'm not sure I'm kind of interested in that process of like making things uh, look so natural when perhaps they're I not. Mean, um... I realized that a lot of the images that the people enjoy looking at the most um, when I think about how I took them or how they uh, how it happened, it was really um, uh, random moments when there was one uh, moment when one of my flatmates um, was crying in the kitchen and you know we she would uh, we um, Back then, I was living with two girls. Um, um, they were both models, um, working as models. And um, I was a student more in the beginning of my studies, and we all were struggling with different things. You know, they were like, oh, I need jobs. I was like, oh, I want to finish with college. We were all like, I don't know, it was more like teen vibes. Uh, we've been, I don't know, um, we had a, we all been very sassy together when we were, I don't know, and we cried a lot actually when we were together. We were like, oh, I don't know, a lot of shit happened to us. And so, and we were really close. We did everything together, going to the grocery store, whatever. So there were literally no boundaries between us anymore. And um, once she was just crying in the kitchen and I just took my camera and because she, you know, she's just a, sassy model uh, person who's also enjoying herself she really just allowed me to take pictures of her so um yeah most most of the people i'm friends with i work with they're also performers somehow so everything everything anyways um maybe this is the reason why things seems to be staged that uh, so often when when but also i, I but also I plan things as well. Um, yeah, it's, it's really hard um, because, um, yeah, I, I uh, hard to explain um, because I never really thought about this by myself. It just mm. happens naturally. 
Yeah. Um, but I also often meet people and just see what happens. Um, I remember like before, before the, the virus, there was a lot of people coming to Berlin. Uh, I mean, Berlin is probably the city in, uh, in Germany where, I mean, every, I don't know, it's the most affordable metropole, I think, in the world, maybe. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But, and uh, so a lot of people just come here, especially in the last years, everyone wanted to come here. So living here as a photographer, um, I, I was kind of spoiled. Uh, with being surrounded with interesting characters. Um, and often I just got random texts on Instagram. Hey, do you want to meet? And I was like, yeah, sure. And I just went to their place, for example, with my camera and didn't know how it looked there. I was not prepared at all. And um, once, for example, I just met someone who later became a good friend of mine. and. When I was meeting her first time at her Airbnb, I saw like two huge, huge mirrors, uh, like very long and very heavy. So I asked my flatmate if she want to come with me uh, and assist me. And all three of us, we carried this huge mirror, like in front of the other mirror. And uh, I was doing pictures of that. So, so yeah, that was staged and planned, but um, I just got the idea one day before when I met when I met this person. Yeah. That's really interesting. So it's a complete mix sometimes of planning, being very yeah. active. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm one thing you I mean, there's a couple of things you mentioned that I want to touch on, actually, um, that I'm really curious about. One of them was you were talking just before about video games and kind of that and kind of I mean, what you reference now is like an e-boy or the equivalent of an e-boy, but like they're kind of both based in kind of this fantasy world, right? Both of those things. And a lot of your references in your pictures, we see kind of things of fantasy that like, maybe I'd like, uh, I don't know how to say it, like tied to the real world, but aren't quite, aren't quite from this world. So we're seeing like maybe like double reflections is maybe the same with the mirrors or like, um, people with kind of light projected on them in quite interesting ways that kind of create I'm thinking of this photograph of yours with the where there's a, a model who looks not so happy but she has a smiling face mm. projected onto her like mm. it's quite those things are quite interesting that like I wonder if you're like where you're getting your inspiration from for stuff for your creativity mm. I don't know um I was my whole life really interested in science fiction, fantasy, and all of this stuff. Even now, I can't really watch any other genre, for example. It's just boring for me. And also, like, I don't know, um, I don't really feel, um, uh, I'm not really attracted to reality that much. <laughs> With, uh, um, I would say, I don't know, it's just a bit boring to me. Like when I want to see something real, I just look into the mirror. Uh, I don't know, I'm, I, I don't know, I live my life and it's kind of like, I have this routine and I try to escape from it. And, uh, but with, when I, I mean, when I was younger, I also did like crazy photo manipulation and stuff. I had this phase, you know, when I was doing mermaids and stuff. And, um, it's just a way to, to, to maybe it's not, not really escaping from reality, but uh, to create something more exciting, something more mysterious, something more, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, still, I still love daydreaming about like the weirdest stuff or the most craziest things that could happen. Um, and, yeah, this is just something that inspires me more than, more than like in the documentary direction, but, but like I like to do both. I also like to do really simple things. It's just that um, it's just a personal preference and I don't know how to say it. Mm. It's yeah. really interesting actually, because 
one thing I keep thinking while you're speaking is that you're actually photographing, as you say, you're photographing performers and people who are always kind of acting, that, like their natural phase is maybe performing for the camera rather than kind of, if you're photographing in a more documentary, say like people who aren't performers, you have to kind of, is then not documentary if they're performing. But if there's kind of a, a thing there where they, you are just telling the truthful story of what they're doing as well, even though you're, because they want to perform. It's quite interesting, really. It's quite, I've never thought yeah. about it like that. Um, maybe you could talk just a little bit about, um, about social media and what that effects had, but also on maybe on the effect that it's having now, because I, I assume it's maybe more difficult for you to make work at the moment, or are you finding it quite easy? Mm. Um, you mean personal work or like yeah like if you're like I mean you were saying before people were coming in and out of Berlin all the time mm -hmm. you're meeting people you're there like getting in contact with you um, I'm sure Germany's been in various states of lockdown over the past year so it's things have surely how I'm wondering how that's changed your kind of working if it has maybe it hasn't mm. Yeah, so um, I remember at the at the first lockdown in, to, uh, in spring in 2020, uh, when everything when no one really knew okay how 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 is, are things going from now on, uh, um, I was first kind of enjoying my the time that I had for myself. Uh, because I was able to do things that I enjoyed that I couldn't do before because of, I don't know, because there was always something to do. I mean, I could, I was binge watching series, movies, um, animes. I would start playing video games again, which I didn't do for years. And I was reading books, you know, I don't know. And, um, so I was, I, I, I didn't really feel like I missed something, but um, after a while, uh, also right now, uh, I really missed uh, this creative exchange and um, people, uh, meeting new interesting people or may, being able to, to travel around um, I don't really have new, there's not really new things that, I don't know how to say that, um, that, um, I don't know, that I don't really feel that sparkle anymore that, uh, like, often when I, I don't know, the urge to, to do something, to work on something, because just there's really less of these situations. And uh, the way I'm coping with this, this is that I'm focusing on bigger and more long-term projects. Right now, for example, I'm working on a photo book and um, something I wanted to do before too, but um, I never really started it. But now I feel like, you know, I'm slowly getting there. And also I'm working on a big, project for a musician, a music video, which is a very uh, time consuming and demanding project. There is a lot of people involved. It's also going to be animated and uh, there, there are dancers involved. And yes, yeah, so I have these bigger projects um, which are saving me somehow. Um, yeah. And um, also, uh, I'm planning and um, organizing more shootings. Like it's, it's not that spontaneous anymore, but like more, it's, but it's also good because um, I, feel, I feel like I'm growing also in a, in a creative way. Yeah. Yeah, that's really interesting. I mean, I'm just so interested about how people's processes change at the moment as well, because in a way like studying this degree that you 
said isn't what you want to do like forcing yourself through this time of change it might have a positive effect on the way you work at the end of it you don't know it, yet. it may be negative it may be positive we don't really know at the moment until we look back on it but I mean I'd love to speak more about this book you're working on um mm -hmm. is it just is it kind of like a, a look back on your work or is it kind of one big project um no it's I think it's I would say it's a whole new project um yeah and um yeah so i the the final book maybe have some of my recent works um inside but um but i really wanted also to push myself to to um to to create to to the the concept um to to realize the concept that i uh, that i haven't have stuck in my head for so long but never but never had the pa patience or the the not the patience the energy to to do or i don't know and to work with interesting people that i you know this time it's not like um just people contacting me they're coming to berlin they're here everywhere and whatever now i really have to look with whom i want to work why do i want to shoot this person why do i want to do this concept with them and um so it's it's harder for me but it's also it's also fun and um a new experience yeah really fun and are you self-publishing it or are you gonna work yeah 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 like uh i just um i especially right now um i i was also thinking maybe i'm just um uh, gonna look for a publisher if someone's interested but i don't have the energy for that and i it's gonna be more complicated and i already once released the book just because i felt like it I was like, okay, I want to do a photo book. It's something that I want to do. And it was so easy just to do it by myself. And mm -hmm. there was no one really telling me how to do it and to change this, to change that. Uh, it was really fun. And um, um, I, I also don't really do it for, for um, financial reasons. Like I... Um, I don't know if also if you publish a book um, by yourself, you won't earn that much. Um, it's just nice for me when when I know that people have my work somewhere in their living room or I don't know uh, stuff like that. And nice to have something physical, yeah. you know, so because um, I, um, there's so so less of this situation when I see my work um, printed somewhere like um especially my personal work is often you you can see it on uh in, on instagram and um on my website but yeah i really i'm always happy when i see it somewhere printed it's just something else it feels i'm really proud also when i see it and can touch it and yeah i want people to have it at, at their home uh yeah so i think that's such a beautiful reason to make a book yeah. Uh, um i think like i also guess that like you're an artist who probably uses social media as quite a big part of their practice right like you've got a huge following on instagram you use it as a tool mm -hmm. to like get people to kind of uh to get people into your creative practice as well so it's not just you showing your work it's like a way in for people to collaborate with you as well um which sounds really interesting but also the fact that you were talking about other local social medias. I'm interested what those were. Mm, you mean? Like you said like before, I, before Facebook and MySpace and stuff, you were on like more local social medias. I'm kind of interested uh, in how, yeah, they were, uh, how they worked. Uh, how they worked. Yeah. And what, what, oh, yeah. <laughs> so um, you, it was kind of like Facebook somehow um you had a profile and uh you had like a i don't know how to say guest book so um 
uh, like um and it was kind of prestigious if people text like if you have a lot of people texting in this book uh so basically it was just a page with so you could click on other people's book and you see the messages like texts and gifs and images other people were putting there and then, i don't know it was looking back it was the cringiest thing ever because it was like hey x x x x i miss you so much my angel x x x and heart 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 la 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 i don't know like stuff like this you know or or like last last i don't know like stupid insiders and then usually a picture with something and um there was a time when i was like when people were spreading also images of me with like they they took some images that i made put it like glitter text on it and they were sending it in other people's guest book yeah it was it was really it was really actually it was fun uh but you also uh, if you had friends a friend they could you could also click on the friends that other people have and you could write a text so people could there was the friends list and you could write a text a small text about your friend and also you had a gallery where you could there was no likes or something but you can comment um yeah so kind of like facebook somehow yeah that's so interesting it's kind of like that was your and that was your first time you started kind of getting into photography around that time yeah, yeah. i mean everyone was on this website everyone used the social media in my my city and um it was um and in, in that i mean back then there was a completely different aesthetic i don't know and it was also when i i don't know i changed a lot in this time you know i uh, i was in poverty yeah and um so um so i was a bit more i don't know um yeah and then there were i don't know i just took a small shitty camera and i took just pictures of myself you know with i i understood after a while how lightning works like how do i look the best you know how how do i have to move my face to look the best um which what angle what clothes look the best combined with each other what backgrounds look nice so uh yeah this lasted just like one two years and then i was like oh god no it's i really felt cringy <laughs> but uh but yeah i asked my my father if he can get me a proper camera like um and my mother and my father they i don't know like when i once i was i don't know 14 15 i don't know they got me like a canon what was it 500d and that was for me a game changer and um yeah and for, then i started shooting other people and, and i and i created a blog you know there was in this time there was a lot of things you know uh, myspace popped up and disappeared right after facebook and it took me really long actually to get to instagram like okay what means really long i think it was 2014 15 which was still a bit late for i i think i didn't really understood how this app works mm -hmm. um and um i don't know i didn't really expect to get a big following and um yeah it came very it, it happened really randomly kind of not randomly but you know you weren't trying to get it no i mean at the beginning of course i was using hashtags and but it was never like i never really felt pressure um i also didn't really expect something from it mm -hmm. uh, but um yeah i think uh, for me it worked probably because uh, a lot of i don't know maybe because of 
because my work is um, how to say it. Uh, I don't know the English word for it. I'm sorry. Uh, like a lot of people can relate. It's not uh, it, people can relate to it. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Because I when I started, I didn't do crazy. I didn't do crazy fashion. Crazy. I don't know. It didn't look so so elitary. Uh, with random moments, random people, and I think maybe people saw themselves somehow in it. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. Um, I think like there's one question that I've just been wanting to ask you since you first said it. I think you said it in the first answer. So, um, but all right at the beginning. But you were saying that you were working with your long-term muse who you'd been living with for three years and you also worked with her on kind of paid jobs as well is that something mm -hmm. cause that's quite rare really being able to work with your own team like that and work with your own models like is that something that you are asking for or are they coming to you and saying we want you to do this with them I mean, it depends. There's different kind of jobs. Um, sometimes, I mean, sometimes there's productions uh, where you just get hired as just the photographer, you know. Yeah. But um, when there's when when client is reaching me out and um, because they like my work, the way I do it, then then usually they they allow me like they give me full creative freedom and if i have the opportunity of course i prefer to work with the people i'm friends with that I, that were mm, helping me to to reach the point where i get jobs you know like um so, i don't know and it's also i mean um yeah so it's nothing that i like demand but i'm like um when i talk with the client i'm just telling them i think this this and so and so would fit because of this and that and uh, yeah mm. yeah i mean i'm guessing it really brings something quite special to the brand's shoot um, they get some kind of authenticity as well that yeah you know, always it's hard to fake in photography maybe i don't know really interesting yeah um wow that's so interesting actually i feel like i might have asked you everything i wanted to ask i don't know if there's <laughs> anything you want to we've been speaking for quite a while it's been really interesting um is there anything you feel that we haven't talked about oh i don't know i feel um, i feel actually we talked about a lot. I also don't remember that much anymore already. Uh, yeah. Really, yeah. So I'm good, actually. All right, amazing. Um, I'm just going to stop the recording then and just say thank you so much for giving us this time and for being yeah, part thank of you. a series of interviews. Like, it's been real pleasure speaking to you. Um,